Howdy everybody, it's Paige from the Helen Schuler Nature Center and welcome to the Home Eco Challenge. This is Blackfoot Territory. It's the Natural Leaders Project Home Eco Challenge. Hey you guys, so today we're talking about the fact that this is Blackfoot Territory. Now I can talk about Blackfoot Territory and my house because my house is also you know, on Blackfoot territory. But I want a little more visual impact, a little bit of beauty, you know what I'm saying? So let's head out uh, to a place a little more picturesque. Eh? Eh. Okay, everybody, we are at Alexander Wilderness Park. The hours are 7 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. Uh, this is one of my favorite parks in town. It's a blast and a half. Um, you get here through Legacy. Now there are two options. You can either park at the top over here or you can head on down the road. Let's see if you can see this down here. You can head down the coolies to the main parking lot or you can park at the top. I actually often like to park at the top and walk down. Uh, you can actually get to the amazing lookout point uh, heading straight down from the top parking lot. But traditionally you actually go to the lower parking lot. That's where the washrooms are. Um, that's where most parking occurs. Anyway, whoop, let's get into it. Okay, you guys, so as we walk up this path at Alexander Wilderness Park, I want you to keep your eyes peeled for any specific landmarks that you notice. Uh, next time you're at Alexander, Alexander Wilderness Park, see if you can find this specific path that I'm on. Ooh, that's just like a fun extra challenge. Anyway, first off, I just wanted to say we are so, so lucky to live in this amazing place. And this amazing place is, of course, Blackfoot Territory. Now, I wanted, in kind of coming up with this Home Eco Challenge, I thought it was really important that kind of right off the bat, we make sure that we take the time to acknowledge and understand that this is Blackfoot territory and that the Blackfoot kind of perspective um, on this land or of, about this place is a very, very important one. The Home Eco Challenge is all about connecting to place and connecting to the land. Um, and really, in this region, no one has ever done that better than the Blackfoot people who have been here for tens of thousands of years. So I also wanted to take a moment to acknowledge that this is unceded territory. Now, what does that mean? Well, back in the 1800s, the Canadian Crown went into treaty with First Nations all across Canada. But at no point, especially in the treaty here in this region, which is Treaty 7, at no, no point did the um, First Nations in this place give the land over to Canada. That was never agreed upon. The treaties were really about how to share the land. So I think it's really important that we acknowledge that this is still and always has been Blackfoot territory. And look at it. Beautiful. All right, if you make it here, I want you to try to find this white rock. Mm-hmm. So this week we're going to look at Blackfoot territory and what that means. But very, like the very first thing we got to do is like figure out, hey, what exactly makes up Blackfoot territory? So I'm going to insert an amazing little map I found at Glen, Mo Glen Bow Museum. Uh, so here we go. Bling! that's the uh, map of Blackfoot territory and what do you notice I'm gonna give you a second to look at it what do you notice about this kind of traditional territory map give you a couple seconds look at it very closely hmm. Hmm. so what stands out to me in this map is the fact that it was boundaried or kind of perimetered by natural landforms which makes a lot of sense you know, nowadays maps are consist of a lot of straight lines that are just like arbitrary and are nonsensical and it's just like some random straight line on a map that signifies here versus there. Um, but the traditional Blackfoot territory was boundaried by just like these common sense, like natural boundaries. So mountain ranges, river systems, you know, it was boundaried in the north by I believe the North Saskatchewan River and in the south by the Yellowstone River. Um, and on the west by the Rocky Mountains and it extended far, far east into, you know, what is now, or what is currently mid, mid like Saskatchewan past the Cypress Hills, that's for sure. All of that land space was and continues to be Blackfoot territory. So 
Blackfoot territory is actually like tens of millions of acres um, stretching from, you know, Alberta, Saskatchewan, down into Montana as well, obviously. And now, what I want you to do, pretty please, with shake around top, is either print off the map that I've shown you, which should be in your work or on the worksheets. Um, but if you're like me and you don't have a printer, well, I have a printer, but apparently if you don't use it in four years all the ink dries up what is this racket anyway so i don't have a printer so for those of us without a printer what you can do try to draw out the glenbow museum traditional territory map i showed you um in your notebooks and bonus points <laughs> uh find where your current home is and star it like put a little star there to, to indicate where your home is so if you live in Lethbridge, Lethbridge is located at kind of the connection point between two main rivers, what is called the St. Mary's River and the, well, what's the main river in our city? You guessed it, the Old Man River. So what I want you to do is locate the place where the St. Mary's River meets the Old Man River, and right at that point, you'll find Lethbridge. Now, actually, there's a really good natural park where you can see this happening. It's actually Cottonwood Park, which is on the other side of the city. Should I go there and show you? I think maybe I should. Hold on one sec, I'll run there. Whew, so I just ran across the entire city. I'm such a good runner. <laughs> just call me Usain Bolt. <laughs> But now I've made it to the southwest side of the city. Welcome to Codwood Park. Ooh, huh? Beauty. This is one of my favorite parks in town. Um, I mean, I know I said that about Alexander Wilderness Park, and that one is my favorite, but this one is my favorite park. I think you're gonna figure out over the course of time here that they're all my favorite park. But that's okay, I mean, why would you choose just one? The city has like five amazing nature preserves. Why would we uh, just go to one? That makes no sense. <laughs> All right, so I'm at Cottonwood Park, kind of at the top. And this is what I wanted to show you, this amazing Old Man River here and the place at which it connects to the St. Mary's River that way. So this is the southwestmost point of the city limits, I believe. Um, and this is where you can locate Lethbridge on the traditional territories map because you can find the place where the St. Mary's River meets the old man. All right, you guys, so there are four nations in the Blackfoot Confederacy. Now, the Blackfoot Confederacy is like an agreement between the Blackfoot-speaking First Nations in this region. They all share a lot in common in terms of culture and practice and tradition, um, but they are, in fact, unique and distinct nations. There's Kainai First Nation, Kainai meaning many chiefs, but often this is referred to as blood tribe. There's also Siksika First Nation. Siksika literally translated from Blackfoot means Blackfoot. There's also Pikani First Nation. Now Pikani First Nation um, is the Pagan Nation, but actually originally it and the Blackfeet of Montana, which is Amskapi Pakuni First Nation, that's the fourth one, they were actually one kind of united tribe. However, when the colonizers created an imaginary line called the Canadian-USA border, they effectively separated Pagan, the Pagan tribe, into North Pagan in Canada and South Pagan in uh, the United States. And so today, the North Pagan is called Pecani First Nation, and then the South Pagan is called the Blackfeet Nation in Montana. All right, so we're gonna end the video here with the shot of Chief Mountain um, from Cottonwood Park. Um, but I do have one last kind of activity for you. There's a really awesome video um, that's currently part of the permanent exhibit at the Helen Schuler Nature Center, and it's a Blackfoot ecology uh, video. I'll have that linked uh, both in your worksheets and in the description of this video. I definitely would recommend that you check out that video and get to know a little bit more about Blackfoot perspectives on um, our local ecosystem.
Hopefully you've learned the four nations of the Blackfoot Confederacy and will work hard to memorize those. It's incredibly important that we do know the First Nations of the Blackfoot Confederacy here in Blackfoot Territory. Um, I also hope that you've had a chance to look at a map and kind of suss out where exactly is Blackfoot Territory. And last but not least, we'll watch this additional video and kind of learn a little bit more about Blackfoot perspectives on the ecosystem. So without further ado, I'll see you next time. Bye!